went on to Japan, found a temple there, came to America, uh, has gone on to Europe, South Africa, Australia. So basically, he's an international Zen master. Um, so we're very fortunate. So I hope if you have any questions tonight, after I'm both a student in this Zen center, and should be giving the introductory talk right now. So I hope you all enjoy the talk tonight, and thanks for coming. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It's good to see a lot of uh, my old friends here tonight. And uh, it's equally good to see a lot of people that I've never seen before, too. So I was asked by my son's name uh, the day before yesterday if I would give uh, an opening talk tonight. And I, today I woke up and I go, I have to give a talk tonight, and I have no idea about what to say. And uh, usually I do. Usually I don't have a problem with giving a talk. I'm usually not nervous or afraid of it. But for some reason today, I feel a little nervous and afraid about giving a talk. So right before we came in here, my old friend Diana says to me, she goes, that's okay. I know you for a long time. You're very clear lately. So, you know, go in there and do it. So, uh, it's a funny thing about having an idea, like, very clear lately. Um, how often are we clear? You know, how many moments? In 24 hours, are we clear? And how do we get clear? I didn't feel clear today because I was thinking a lot. Okay? So, anyway, I was doing some bows this, this morning, and uh, my neighbor came to my back door. I, I'm a manager for an apartment building, two buildings in Burbank. And one of my tenants came to my back door to ask me a question, and she could see right into my living room where I have my little Dharma room. So I was real sweaty and real red in the face and bowing, and she looks at me. And, and she knows I practice, Zen, I practice Zen, and she knows I have an altar and all of that. But to see somebody doing these prostrations, she was sort of stunned by it. And, she, and I stopped, and I said, yeah, what, what do you want? And she says, what are you doing? And I said, I'm, I'm bowing. She goes, well, yeah, I can see that, but why? And without even thinking, what flew out of my mouth was, because I love it. So I, then I was sort of stunned. I go, did I say that? <laughs> because I love it. Then in the next moment, I went into the laundry room to clean the laundry room, and she, she was in there again. And uh, she said, so what are you going to do tonight? And I said, well, I, I have to go to the Zen Center and give a little talk. And uh, she goes, what are you going to talk about? And I said, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to talk about, which is strange for me, you know. It's not usual. I usually know pretty much what I'm going to say. And I didn't know, and I kept getting more nervous and more afraid <laughs> that I was going to blow it in front of all of you. So... <clears throat> I said, well, let's change the subject. I don't want to think about it. How was your 4th of July weekend? So she said, you know, it was really strange. She said, it was kind of an interesting, kind of a kind of a sweet, sour experience for me. She, she says, you know, I just moved out here from Ohio a year ago. And this year has been a very difficult year for me. So a friend of mine up in Fresno and her mother and father invited me to come spend the weekend with them for 4th of July weekend. And they really are very kind to me, and they try to make me feel like they're family. And so I went up to Fresno, and they have this big, beautiful house with several acres of property with a lake, and they had hired a, a, a fireworks guy to set off a fireworks display and a big barbecue and pool, and kids were running through the sprinklers and lanterns in the tree. Really beautiful celebration for Fourth of July. Perfect, you know? Everything was perfect. Everybody's really nice to her. So she had this beautiful, perfect situation, she said, and all of a sudden, I'm sitting there watching everybody have a wonderful time and be really nice to me, 
And what happens? I start thinking about all the Fourth of Julys I had growing up in Ohio with my family, and I started to miss my family. And I started to miss all the Fourth of Julys I had had in Ohio. And she said, the next thing I know, I've just started going lower and lower and getting more and more depressed and feeling more and more sorry for myself. And she goes, next thing I knew, I was like totally depressed. And, and I was crying and I, I decided that I would go into the house and not participate in the rest of the, the party that night at all. So I went into this, the maid's room, the, the most farthest back room, and shut myself in the room and started to cry about how much I missed my family in the 4th of July's in Ohio. <laughs> so in the meantime, this wonderful 4th of July is going on right where she is, right? So um, she says, uh, it got so bad, my mind got so carried away and so sad, I actually, and they kind of were having me as the guest of honor. You know, oh, Debbie's our wonderful friend from Ohio and introducing me, and they even had a cake for me, you know? And she goes, I felt so bad and so depressed and so sorry for myself that I actually snuck out the back door, got in my car, and drove away and left without saying goodbye to anybody. <laughs> she goes, well, I'm driving down you know, the, the, the freeway, and I'm driving for about 45 minutes. She got pretty far in 45 minutes, like she got halfway back to LA. And she goes, halfway there, I realized, so she goes, I, I was kind of thinking, you know, why am I doing this? Well, God, I'm, I'm crazy. Why am I doing this? And she goes, the thought came into my mind. You know, my friend and her mother are so kind to me. They don't deserve this kind of behavior from me. She goes, so I turned around and went back, and I came back into the party. And I went up to my girlfriend, and I said, I said, you know, Linda, you'll never believe what I just did. She goes, they didn't even notice I was gone. You know, it was such a big party. <laughs> she goes, I got in my car and I left your party and packed my bags and I was halfway back to Los Angeles. She goes, you're kidding. I don't believe you did that. She goes, why'd you come back? She goes, because I felt you and your mom didn't deserve that kind of behavior. And her friend said to her, you're right. My mother doesn't deserve that kind of behavior. <laughs> So that kind of gave me a little bit of an idea what I might talk about tonight. Since everybody's laughing, I see some people nodding their head. I certainly could relate to that story. I felt like doing that a lot of times, not only at a party, but sitting on my meditation cushion, going into interview room, uh, having a fight with my husband, uh, sitting in an emergency uh, county hospital waiting room for nine hours and watching a little baby die in front of me. Many, many, many infinite amount of times I felt like really getting in my karmic car and leaving this situation right now. So when she was telling me this story, what came into my mind was another story Musansani told me a long time ago about he was upset or angry or depressed or bummed out about something and he had a, a bad face on him or something and Desan Sanin said to him, Masan Sanin, smile, come and join the party. <laughs> so, meaning, you know, put it all down, your opinion and situation and condition. This moment, there's something to smile about. This moment, is a party for you to attend to, you know? In this moment, yeah, this mother, this friend, this husband, these Dharma brothers and sisters don't deserve that kind of behavior from you, you know? So, uh, <clears throat> right before I came here, I, I did a little bit of sitting, and after I do some sitting at home, I read this little Kalyan book, 365 Koan, World is a Single Flower Book, and there was some piece of paper in there that I used as a bookmark and never paid attention to what it was, and I go, what is this? And, oh, this is Kwanam Zen School. And I came across this little letter from Sansanim to me back from 1989, and I read it, and I'm going to read it to you. And it says, thank you for your beautiful card and letter. I just returned from Europe. Poland, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Norway, Spain, and France. This world is changing. 
Mind is also changing. Everything is always flowing. Everything disappears. So most important is this moment. Good and bad, like and dislike, don't matter. I will come to Los Angeles in August. Please call me. I hope you don't make anything. Just do it and get happiness everywhere. So, yeah, talk about being clear um, or not being clear. Paul, Paul Lynch told me a really good story about an uh, incident that happened to him up in Seattle at a retreat a couple of weeks ago with uh, Cheeto Pope singing Bob Moore. And apparently he'd been He's been practicing a couple of years, and apparently sitting for him is a little difficult sometimes, maybe physically and mentally. You know, maybe it takes people some time for their mind to come down. It took me 14 years, so it only takes two years for you. You're, you're lucky. So um, he said, this one day, the third day, I was sitting really strong, no problem, no body problem, no mind problem, really clear, really calm, you know, real strong. And I went into the interview with Bob, and I said, Bob, guess what? Sitting is no problem. And Bob took his stick and punched me in the stomach and said, don't make no problem, because tomorrow's going to be different. <laughs> and tomorrow, his back went out. Okay? So be clear five minutes ago or one minute ago doesn't matter. Um, based on his name says here, Good and bad, like and dislike, doesn't matter. You know, enlightenment experience doesn't matter. Passing koan last week doesn't matter. The fact that I did some vows this morning doesn't matter. Most important is just this moment. So, how do we practice just this moment? Downstairs in our little Zen Center pamphlet, there is a quote from Desan Sanin that says, all the time, always, everybody in the world is always looking for happiness outside of themselves. Okay? But very rarely do we return to try to understand our true, so our true self inside. Okay? So all day long, 24 hours a day, even in our dreams, all of our thoughts, practically, all of our action, all of our function has this underlying motivation, which is a sense of self. I, my, me, mine. I'm giving this talk and you're listening. Just that simple, like that, already. You know, this appears. So all day long, I, my, me, mine. If anybody sits for just 30 minutes, and sometimes do an experiment to see how many times does this I thinking appear in 30 minutes. You know, even very, very, very subtly it appears. You know, I did this experiment one, one or two sitting periods and I lost track of how many thoughts or thought emotions appeared from the foundation of this concept of self or I or my or me or mine, something to do with that. So that's what we live our whole life on. Um, we put a lot of making it matter a lot, this good and bad and like and dislike. It matters a hell of a lot to us. It matters a hell of a lot to me. And yet, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I guess it's safe to say we're hallucinating, you know? We're dreaming. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And how doesn't it matter? If we ask ourselves, yeah, all the time, I, my, me, I'm always thinking. I even say it. I can't even talk without saying, I, my, me. I, keep, I can't even act without putting my hand on my car and going, oh, is my car okay? Is my Dharma talk okay? Are you listening to me? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's that addictive. It's that bad and deep of a habit. And then, not to understand what this I is, you know, which is the cause, primary cause of all of our suffering in the world. It's the primary cause. So today I read something, Sunstein said, you yeah, know, what makes I? 
I makes I, which means he's very famous for quoting the philosopher De Descartes, or Descartes, how, how do you pronounce it? Descartes. I think, therefore, I am. Okay, that's what Descartes said. I think, therefore, I exist. So Desantin took that one step further, quite a bit further, and said, okay, so if you're not thinking, then what are you? If I'm not thinking, what am I? And those of us who are old students have heard this millions of times to where it's on rote. You know, we've heard it so many times that we almost, well, I'm not going to speak for anybody else, I'll speak for myself. I go, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it sounds good. And I'm not even almost listening to it anymore. And it's such an important teaching. Yeah, what am I? And the minute we ask, what am I? And we try to find that, something extraordinary takes place. Something other comes into being. And I guess the best word I can use to describe that is attention vitality. Maybe we could even call that love. Maybe. I don't know. These are words and they're tricky. But to go into this matter that opposites don't matter. They just don't matter. You know? Can we really truly down in our guts come to believe that and digest that understanding? It's easy to understand that and it's a good theory that we subscribe to. Yeah, good and bad, like and dislike don't matter. Yeah, most important is this moment. But how often do we do it? I know for myself, I notice myself not doing this more often than I do it. And that's the truth. You know? And that's part of or that's a great part of our practice, is to notice, oh, not paying attention. Oh, making something. Making this I, you know, and then coming back to returning to asking, what is this I? What, what is this moment? What is this party? You know, this party, our life, this celebration, our life, this moment. Last year, I had to go to a county hospital because I had a problem with my breast. So I thought maybe I might have breast cancer. And I didn't have insurance and I didn't have a lot of money. So I had to go to a county hospital, all of you hospital. So I went there and they were taking people. There were about two or 300 people waiting in this waiting room. Many of them were illegal laborers. Uh, immigrants from El Salvador, Guatemala, um, Mexico, many of them. And they said, okay, we'll take you as soon as we can. Uh, nine hours later is when they took me, finally. So I had to sit there and wait. I couldn't even leave, practically, to go to the bathroom because they might call my name. Sitting across from me for nine hours was this very large Latina woman I don't know what country she was from. She had a brand new infant, a new baby. Maybe it could have only been maybe a couple of days old, a week at most. And she had this baby, and this baby supposedly was a priority emergency. But you have to understand there were many, many priority emergencies, hundreds of them in there that day. Not only her baby, and certainly I was not a priority compared to this baby. This baby, she sat with this baby, and this baby was dying. And she sat right across from me, no farther than Jim is, for nine hours. And all she did with her dead baby in her arms, because that baby was dead, I knew it, was just with silently the tears coming down her face, she just sat there and rocked. Didn't say a word, didn't make a sound. She only rocked. She could not do anything. You know, that's ultimate suffering. And this woman was this great Buddha for me, for me to have to watch this for nine hours. And I also couldn't do anything. It was, it was a humiliating experience for me and a humbling experience. I couldn't even reach out my hand to her. It was like her suffering was so big that I knew nothing. I thought nothing I would do would help her at all. Nothing's going to bring that baby back. 
So I got a little taste. I certainly didn't get all of it, but I got a little bit of taste that you and me, we don't have anything except this moment. That's all we've got. And we go through our whole life thinking otherwise. We go through our whole life, I do, I do this, avoiding, I don't know how many times I try to avoid and figure out all manner of avoidance and denial of this moment because it's uncomfortable, because somebody's ignoring me, because I'm not being paid attention to, because I'm overweight, because I overeat, because I'm not smart enough. <clears throat> because my tenant is giving me a hard time and telling me I'm full of shit. Or my husband tells me that quite often, you know. He's one of my best teachers. And I try, I'll find every manner of mischief and every manner of entertainment so that I don't have to deal with right now what's going on inside of me and what's going on outside of me. And how do you do that? Don't know. The words for that are don't know, which is before thinking. Then it's clear. All you feel when you feel bad or you feel depressed or you feel like you want to run away from the party and you don't want to smile is feel your body. Feel that energy pulsing through it and ask yourself, yeah, I don't feel good. I feel frightened. I feel nervous. And what is this I? What is this and where is it coming from? And all I hear is the fan. And all I hear is the traffic. And I'm reminded that I'm at a wonderful party. It's time for me to smile. It's okay. Everything is okay. Before I think, before I make I. So that's, that's like, I hope you don't make anything. And just do it, moment to moment. Give your, give our attention, attend to our moment like it's our, our baby, like that child, you know? Attend to that moment. Because the next moment we could die without ever knowing what is it that's lived. We could die. Or someone we love, our baby can die, you know? And then, don't make anything, just do it is getting happiness everywhere. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good Dharma speech. Also, thank you for coming here. Also, green shot. Little is behind. People cannot see here. You, you. You are sitting behind, then the other people come up here. Too high. So, everybody have a question? Your life, your practice, your problem, any kind of question. Nowadays, this world is very complicated. So, maybe you have many problems. So, many problems, you may have a question. Any kind of question, your life, your property, any kind of question. Please ask me. So when you're not thinking, what are you? Uh, <laughs> Is that all? Not enough? <clears throat> Give me more. Kikuri, kikuri. <laughs> Already passed that time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more questions?
I'm you talk about when, when help somebody is correct. Like maybe she's driving in this car and she sees this homeless man have signed, no food. Uh -huh. So she wants to give the money. She has a compassion mind. But she worried about maybe she give money to this man, maybe he attack her, hit her, kill her or something. So afraid. Mm -hmm. So when helping other people is correct, when not correct? That is her question. So that is not okay. Your mind, your mind, think about this. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, want to have. Then before, uh, what kind of you know, after the action? Uh, don't worry about that. If you come in this world, if you want to come in this world, then you can do anything. Okay, but. Why do you come in this world? Why? Don't understand. Huh? Moment to moment, any kind of moment to moment in your action, you decide thinking, everything from before life. Not only this life. But if your good mind, good mind appear on the way, give to somebody, <coughs> very hungry, not situation with the money, okay? That means you, you can control your mind. That time, you can control your situation. So give the money. That much, this much, you can control. You can change your karma. But this man attack you means not this life is a problem. Before life is a problem. So don't worry about that. Maybe somebody kill you. Yeah? But that also before life's problem. Mm. So don't worry about this these people's bad action, not bad action. This moment is very important. I had this people. That mind. That's a moment mind. Very important. Okay? So do it. Alright. Your more question? Any kind of question? Okay. Um, when you are in situation you don't like what you do. What? You, maybe you are in some situation, then you don't like this. You then don't what like? do you do? What, what kind of what kind of like? For example, like you talking you have to talk to people you don't like. Maybe You have like this leg like, strong, then you must have problem. So our proxy means take away life with this leg, which means your center becomes stronger, stronger, stronger. That locks are locks as animal, locks as animal, very like this leg. Like. High class animal. It's like a human being. No? Not so much, even like this, like, but digest. Digest. Okay. I don't like, but digest. I like, digest. That's our practice. So, strong like this, like, same as animal. Russia control the country before, then the, the Russian disaster. Then many countries up here, many countries, small countries, small countries separate. Then this small country, they have strong opinion. People push time, no opinion, only for all. But after that, many small countries, small countries separate. Then very strong opinion. I don't have access. Very strong. So many have problem. Like this, like strong, much have problem. Like this, like small, small problem. If you have no like this, like no problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Very simple, human beings. Don't make complicated. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Thank you. I am. Um, I have a question. Uh, you know, the other day, my wife met a, a man on the street who was um, desperately hungry ah. and thirsty down in a part of town where there were churches that were giving food, but it was not the food day. Uh -huh. She had some food in her trunk and gave it to him, and it may have saved his life. And that was good. But when I think of him and all the people in the emergency rooms, I don't like that. It makes me sad. It makes me want to help, and I can't. Is that the kind of like this and dislike that I should put down, or what should I do? Oh. One of my students in Korea, this uh, he went to this uh, university, but they have no money. So if they working, working, get money, they don't go to university. So that is the night time after after dinner, go to uh, working, maybe three hour, four hour working. So he uh, go to school, then come back time, get food, some bread. So the uh, little uh, school area have some uh, uh, over here a uh, park, you know. So sitting chair and open this food, you know. some bread, food eat. What they eat? Then hungry people, child, you know, come here, look at <laughs> Very hungry. What the food? So that time, very thinking. This man, very thinking, you know. Ah, this not eat the food. Whole day I'm working in school or, or something, then not eat the food, then go to work in very difficult, hungry, can I walk? But look at this child. They keep the food, it's correct. Not give the, it's correct. Many thinking, thinking, you know, many thinking, thinking. <laughs> Same as you, okay, thinking. <laughs> so finally think about, the, ah, this child many times not in the hood. So he all give to him, give the child. Then the two child over there, then this child, very young, thank you, thank you, then all in. Then he walking, very hungry. Some are very hungry, but very, Happy, you know, hungry and very happy. Then after he think, ah, this boy is up to my mind, help me. If that time, you know, but it's, I not, not, I cannot get the food. <laughs> I eat, I'm working necessary. Then it's not a hindrance. Then working time, oh, that time this child is very hungry. I know, I know, I know, this mind up here, then many suffering. Okay. So, that very important, very important, that type, what is correct situation, correct function, correct relationship? Three kinds. What correct situation, correct function, correct relationship? There has no I might be. <coughs> correct situation, correct function, correct relationship means there has no I might be. Only do it. That name is only do it. So if you keep this mind, no problem. Okay? <laughs> Try that. <laughs> okay. More question? <coughs> any kind of question? Uh, any kind of question? Okay. All right. Guy comes in the Zen center and drops ashes on the Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's your homework. Uh, <laughs> uh, who is a Jita Bosani? Your Jita Bosani. Oh, as in him. <laughs> Not my job, but <laughs> his job. Okay, I teaching you, then he's very angry to me. <laughs> okay? All right.
Not tell you? Yeah. There's more problems in this. <laughs> okay, more questions? <laughs> okay. So that's the name is the checking mind. Yeah? yeah? Checking, checking, checking mind. There's no problem. Checking mind, no problem. But you must make your schedule, okay? Make schedule means I go to Zen Center. I must practice it. You make your schedule. That's very important. That is the control of you. Your center strong, you can do anything. Your center not strong, you cannot do anything. So, I can, you can. I cannot, I cannot. Which one do you like? I can? Good, uh, no problem. Then. I can, then no problem. I cannot, then have problem. So that, that the Buddha said, all created by mind alone. Your mind is strong, then no problem, everything. So that is a difference between animal and the human being. Animal cannot control emotional, okay? Animal control emotional, they sometimes have problem. Then animal is better than human being. Then animal look at the human being, oh, this man no good. Think about that. But the animal cannot do that, you know. Animal very simple mind. Like it's like very strong. So also cannot perceive my true self. Animal cannot perceive my true self. But human beings perceive my true self. That is very important. That's correct. That's incorrect. Perceive my true self. Yeah. So that is a human being's very highest animal. Highest human being's highest animal. But nowadays, many human beings, this contest comes from where? From animal. <coughs> from animal. Nineteen. 45, okay, after second one. 1945, human beings, two billion, two billion. Long time human beings history, okay. Maybe uh, Taoism, 5,000. Buddhism, 25,000. Ah, 2,500. Christianity, 2,000, okay. It's a long history, okay. Then, 1945, Billion. That pro 1945 today, almost 50 years. How many human beings drop? Now 5 billion people. So 3 billion people. Short time, very short time. Okay. This world cause effect very clear. Everything primary cause and the condition and the result. Why human beings people pull grow up? Huh? 
Is that necessary? That's somebody say that's a bi by natural process. But not do that. Everything primary cause, condition, and result. What kind of primary cause and what kind of condition? What kind of result? That means human beings nowadays. When I was young time, when I was young time, primary school, young time, only one year, only one time, two times eat meat. Can I eat? Can I eat meat? Very expensive. Also, part of nugget to the meat. You know. Only one year, only one time, two times. Mm. Nowadays, people, every day, in Korean, doesn't matter, okay? Whole world do that. Every day, many eat meat. Every day, eat meat. So this all human means to kill the animal and buy and this meat that eat fish only bird any kind of meat okay eat eat then cause are very clear human beings many kill the animal and the fish see the bird okay then someday human beings down 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 now human beings up 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 okay then soon <coughs> Soon we get 20th century, 21st century, then human beings are down, 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 down. Full moon? Small, small? No moon. That's this world, okay? Up, then down. Human beings are up, 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 then someday down, down, down. So any region said this world, nowadays this world, the human world, okay? End of this world, end of this world. Which means human beings are too much bad action to this world. Bad action air, bad action this uh, mountain, rivers, everything. Bad action to animals, everything bad action. What is the human beings good action to this world? Nothing. Okay. How many, how many times every day, how many times good action? You think of what you are before that, you take your action whole day. How many good actions, how many bad actions? Checking yourself. Many bad actions. Good action, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> many, many bad actions. Whole day, you know, many bad actions, you know. But good action, nothing. So, long time ago, this, uh, uh, primary school time, when I younger time, that time our school teacher, he write down blackboard. One day, one good, good action. One day, good action. That's very simple. One day, one good action. No problem. On the road, maybe a uh, over there have some dirty then clean or rocks then moving or over there have to, this uh, grass or paper then take away no problem. Hmm. One day good action very easy but very difficult. One day one good action, good action very difficult homework. Everybody try that. But other side, many bad actions, you know. <laughs> bad thinking, bad action. That's the human means. Then what? This world is cause effect very clear. When you die, what? What can you do? Your body cannot keep. Your body is not yours, okay? Can I con continue? Then your true self, your soul, after die, where do you go? Huh? So animal stomach waiting for you sometimes. <laughs> Dog or cat or snake or, or sometimes demon, okay? Uh, sometimes hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one cause it very clear. So you must understand. We must understand this world the rule. What kind of rule? Huh? Cause 
has had to very clear. So we try, we try. What is a human being? What is a human being? Okay. Only, only design, you know, desire, 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 desire. They same as dogs, even a cat, okay? What's the better? So you are maker. Very important. Maker. What did he talk about? Maker. <laughs> okay? More question? Any kind of question? Okay. I talked a little bit with Bob about this, but I'd also like to ask you, how do we keep a clear mind in practice even when we're sleeping? You want to be sleeping? Even sleeping time, how practice? When you're everyday practicing, practicing, even sleep time, very clear, Kongan is very clear. Sleeping, wake up, not different. Sleeping, wake up, not different. Daytime clear, sleep time clear. Daytime clear, sleep time clear. That, that name is our mind, okay, our mind. Or we say that the habit. Any habit controls you. If your daytime, good habit, good habit, good habit, good, good working, okay? Good action, good action, good action, then make a habit, okay? That's the na name is karma. Good action, good action, good action, good action, then in the dream, also good action. Bad action, bad action, bad action. In the dream, bad action. One of my students, he cannot see anything. Uh, his name is B. Very good man. So he, no eyes, no ear, no eyes, not ear he have, no, no eyes cannot see. One day, that time I live in uh, this, uh, Japan, I stayed in Tokyo. I met him in Kyoto. Kyoto. Oh, the, oh, so sorry, where I go? I want to go to uh, uh, Osaka. Osaka, Kyoto, maybe one hour drive, okay? One hour drive, course. Very close. I, Osaka. But I don't understand Osaka, so I have a problem. Then he said, he cannot see anything. Ah, so sorry, no problem. I show you, take you Osaka. <laughs> so, <laughs> open eyes people, four or close eyes people, okay? Eh? <clears throat> so I follow him. <laughs> he had take this, uh, Sunglass, sunglass. Nobody understand he's a, you know, uh, fine, don't, don't understand, nobody understand. Then he any kind of sound, all understand, taxi, bus, everything understand. Then go road, then some car here, then head up. Then taxi coming. Japan taxi, automatic open door, okay, boom, open door. And but understand, uh, Japan did to open the door. Open the door. <laughs> then he only walking over there. Very clever. Oh, it's the taxi. Susan, come here, come here. <laughs> so I follow him. <laughs> <laughs> then taxi, take taxi. Then boom, go to the taxi. So, oh, it's the taxi. Talk to this driver. We go to uh, Osaka. O Osaka. Uh, some place, okay? So he said, okay, then they take Osaka. Then he all understand. How many drivers there? Where coming? All understand. Then pass Osaka station. He understand. Train, bus, ah. Uh, just press Osaka station. Then Osaka station, then a B road appear. Your B road turn right. Then turn right, then Smaller than the smaller turn left. Left, light, left, he all understand. 
then stop. He old memory. So then get out. Then just temple. What's that temple over there? <laughs> so I followed blind man. You know, okay. As an open man, blind man, follow blind man. They're very interesting. <laughs> I said one day, ask him, Mr. Lee. Yes, sir. You, uh, you understand sky blue? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you understand all in white? I don't know. You have a dream? Yes, I have a dream. Then I ask you, in the dream, do you see sky? Do you see what is white? I cannot see anything. <laughs> then what kind of dream do you, do you have dream? Oh, I, my dream is only sound, only eat, only smell, no eye dream. Can I see? So in the dream, have no color. That's a correct understanding. Oh, into the memory, your consciousness, that make a dream. If you have no memory, have no dream. This man cannot see anything. So, have no, cannot see color, anything in the dream. Only smell, hear, tasting, touching, talking, possible. But, cannot see dream. So, your dream means that your lifetime or any kind of experience in your consciousness that's the film working okay. tape recorder working oh. <laughs> okay. okay that name is dream so dream and this life the same mm -hmm. but most important this long time ago the Kobong Zen Mata, almost all Kongan finished. 1,700 Kongan, almost finished. Then his teacher asked him, You have a dream? Yes, I have a dream. In the dream, you have strong, don't know my clear, see, attain your true self, see your true self? Yes, in the dream, very clear. On my mind and clear my true self. Very clear. Also, daytime, also, <coughs> when you're walking, talking time, still your center, strong, your true self, strong front of you? Yes, anytime in the dream or daytime, my true self front of me. Very clear. Oh, that's wonderful. Then I ask you. When you complete the three times, no dream, no thinking, that time, where is your true self? Dharanaste. That point. Okay. No thinking, no dream. Complete one hundred percent three times. That time, where is your true self? That's very important question. If you attain that, attain your true self. But don't understand this point. Still don't understand your true self. Your understanding is like a dream. <coughs> okay. That's a very important point. So, that's a homework. Completely done. <laughs> no dream, no thinking. That time, where is your true self? That's a very important question. So, this is Gobong Sri. Don't understand. All understand Kongan. But, teacher asked him, completely done. So every day, practice, practice, practice. So many years passing, over six years passing, his brother, Dharma brother, Jung Hyung, together traveling. That time, 
Tama para to already all finished. All this come all finished. So he only three. Only here transmission. Get transmission. So no problem. This is three. But he not yet. Not yet get transmission. So still practicing. Complete that. No dream. No thinking. That time. Where is my success? Don't understand. Next to this man and my his friend sleep, sleep, sleep. That time he body is changing, changing time. This wooden pillow, you know, in Korea or China, in the wooden pillow, high wooden pillow, then sleep. Okay, never uh, American style pillow. Use the wooden pillow. Wooden pillow sleep. Then the head hit the floor. Boom. That time. <laughs> ah, not there. Completely time. No dream, no thinking. Where is my true self? Attain that point. So talk to the teacher. And then to the teacher. Then he got transmission. That's an important point. So everybody attain, okay, that point. No thinking, no dream. That time, completely 100% sleep time. Where is my true self? That's an important question. If you attain that point, hell, heaven, coming, going, always freedom. Okay? No problem. Hell is a problem. Freedom. Heaven also freedom. Freedom. Okay? Question? Anyway, okay. Guys hanging through a branch. Right? <laughs> 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 so, you talk with this Kongan. We have this famous Kongan, and he talked about this Kongan, okay? <laughs> what? So Hang on, up a tree. Hang yeah. on, hanging up a tree. Yeah. What about it? Yeah. <laughs> story, story. Talk about story. Oh, oh, story. Yes, a koan. Kobong singing was a story. There's a man up hanging a by up the tree, hanging from a branch by his teeth, huh? and his arms are tied behind him, and I think his feet are tied, so he can't do anything on him. So somebody comes underneath him and says, why did Bodhidharma come to China, come to the West? So he's hanging by his teeth. If he answers, he will fall to his death. If he doesn't answer, he is avoiding his duty. So... Teeth. Yeah. yeah. Samurai. <laughs> you want to kill. Kill. So what can you do? If you're that time, how do you no, stay alive? I know. I ask you. <laughs> it's a really important question. You've got to find the answer for it because it's your life and death. Your life and death. Keep doing it. <laughs>